Hello, I'm OBX Toy Cat, and welcome back to another real life video. A lot of people ask when I next went somewhere for the first time that I do one of these travel vlogs thing. I think I asked in the QA at one point. So here I am on the journey to Berlin. This is going to be the Berlin travel vlog, I guess. I haven't done one of these in the first channel, like ever, so it's going to be a bit of an experience. But I do want to try this out just for the first time and show you kind of the thing because a lot of people are curious, like, what's it like going somewhere the first time? Or like, oh yeah, what's it like in all these crazy places? What are you doing stuff? I figured I'd try and show that in a video form. I'm not sure if it translates anyway, but that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Hopefully, you all do enjoy. So just in case you're curious, we're starting the journey as you always do when traveling for another country at least if you live in the UK because we're in Ireland uh, by going to the airport so uh, if you don't know this is Luton Airport the reason I love this airport is because you can see uh, like planes flying from back there I think that's maybe a runway uh, but also if you look in the background right there you can see there is the EasyJet headquarters and like everything else that EasyJet does it's like garishly orange just all over like they do hotels, planes it's just all bright orange to show that somehow that makes it cheaper and more affordable I don't know there's something I like about that but yeah in today's video we're going to be going to Berlin and I guess we have to go into the departures place if you don't know airports have to we, we, gotta, we gotta go into that place we're gonna go there now Okay, so I got past security, etc. all done. And uh, probably a little uh, airport hack, by the way, I'm gonna recommend is whenever you get past that, because uh, this airport's in development, so I've been seeing it change every time I come here, like which is maybe like 10 times now. It's gone slightly better or slightly different every single time. And one of the changes they made that's really subtle, and like I guess like most people don't even spot it, is um, they put this big like pool here in between uh, the security, you know, where I just went through, and between where you go get your flights and all the other shops are. And it's really interesting because if you look at the pathway, it very subtly just curves off to the right. You probably didn't even notice, it looks like I made more straight line but then the actual doorway is over there so the ideal pathway is to like cut across it but they I don't know, like, the way it's all, all the stuff is laid out, the way there's this giant, like, archway, it makes you walk around longer, and apparently, all it takes to make people buy things is just show them more and more stuff. Eventually, someone will see pen and you'll buy it at ridiculously inflated prices, because, again, bear in mind, like, they say, like, oh, it's duty-free, and that's so much better, but that's not really how stuff works. But anyway, just a little, little travel tip. Also, another one, uh, like, I guess, uh, travel hack or something, is um, whenever... I guess, whenever flights are the most expensive or the cheapest is also when the airport is the most full. So you can walk around that. I didn't today, and there's just people everywhere. So if you don't like people, and who does, then throw it right there, because it's terrible. But anyway, I'm gonna go get on the flight, and I'll probably get back to you in Germany. Berlin, Germany. I don't know if I mentioned that's where I'm going today. It's probably in the title, but yeah, see you in a second. So the reason I find myself in Berlin today, or the reason I'm coming here for the first time, I mean, I did obviously come here by choice, I'm pretty sure, um, is because I've been to Germany several times now. There's always, uh, you know, like maybe six, seven times, there's always been to cities in the west of Germany, the far west really, and uh, the reason the east is so fascinating is because Germany is a lot bigger than most European countries. I mean, it's not big by like, oh, compared to the US or Russia or anything, but it's a pretty big wide country, and it also has the interesting uh, issue of the division, where it used to be two countries until just 27 years ago. And this leads to a very fascinating thing where the capital, Berlin, of the entirety of Germany now, a very big, successful country, etc., is actually less well off than the rest of the country. Like, you're, it, statistically, if you're an average German outside of Berlin, you're better off than someone in Berlin. And this is very, very unique capitals around the world. And it gets me curious, you know, like, what's going on in Berlin? Like, it's going to be split from two from the Cold War days. And there's, there's just lots of fascinating relics of like that, where it's like, yeah, I guess I've been to this country. Let's see how different the capital is. Usually, I don't, I, you know, a lot of people don't like the whole capital thing. But in today's case, that's what we're doing. So there was a central place on the way to the uh, hotel I was going to anyway, so I figured let's take a stop off there and let's do it. And it conveniently happened to be the place that I was going to visit later on, so I figured, aha, I can save myself some time and go check it out now, because this is one of the only actual remaining real stretches of the Berlin Wall. It's the, oh, yeah, it's the, um, it's the interior wall, so it's like the side that would have faced East Germany, and uh, it's kind of a big deal because, again, the one of the big things I wanted to check out was the Berlin Wall, and most of it has been knocked down because obviously knocking down was a really big deal, but only some very few stretches have been preserved, and there's been a lot of like put up again. Like the most popular one, I think it's called like Checkpoint Charlie, was like re put up afterwards just so there's something to look at because people can see it. But this is one of the few stretches where it's actually there, and they got a bunch of because it was against. It's actually really cool, it's just covered in art from apparently 118 countries. But um, it's, quite, it's rather interesting to me the fact that like the moment they it fell, they like they, they preserved the stretch and they said, okay, come in, paint it, and like it's a sign of freedom because back in the uh, back in the time in East Germany at least, you weren't allowed to do anything with the wall because it was an East German wall or something. And uh, yeah, it's uh, just looking at any stretch of it is at least slightly fascinating. So we could walk like this actually. I, li I like the, the view as we go across here. And one more thing I should mention because the audio quality just changed and I know there was some beeping or whatever before. I lost the microphone. I just don't know where it went. It's not there anymore. So everything's gonna be a little bit noisier. That sucks. I was like really bummed for a sudden like 10 minutes like oh you can't just lose a, a microphone for, but whatever that's that's what happened and yeah I, I think it's nice <laughs> again you can see every stretch is like changed and you can see there's it it's interesting stuff it's interesting stuff but this is uh 
it's a one kilometer stretch I think it's the biggest preserved stretch of the wall and it's one of just like three places maybe two places where you can see the original wall how it would have been again this is a wall um, the reason that this is so depressing I should mention is because it wasn't built to keep either side from going into the other one you know like the oh build a wall thing it was more of a um, you know wall to keep people in <laughs> it was more of a wall to keep people inside the thing uh, than outside it gets me it, it gets really strange when people like pay crazy close so attention because most of the time you can believe you're just like being a crazy foreigner you know you just you're, you're snapchatting you're, you're, you're doing whatever with the thingy or well, not snapchatting i think it's uh facetiming but gets weird with a good look but anyway uh yeah as you can see pretty well lots of stuff going on i'm gonna get to where i need to go and then my plan for today is to go check out just like the in like again there's loads of famous stuff in berlin and usually i'm not like too interested by like the most famous stuff because it's not actually interesting when you see it that's pretty cool. Um, but in today's particular case, uh, there's actually like a couple of things I'm going to be checking out. I think there's like the Reichstag, the, the I think it's like the parliament, but it's called the Bundestag or whatever. But anyway, it's a beautiful building. And there's the big gate, the Berlin gate, the Brandenburg gate. Big gate symbolizes unity, openness or something like that. I want to see those two things today. And then I'll find the other Berlin wall stretch, I'm sure. Because I need to make a video there. So I'll go do that now. So if you're not familiar, one of the things I like to do whenever I'm staying somewhere, especially at like a weird off-peak time like this, is to try and, you know, search every hotel site to find like the best hotel for the smallest price for the, you know, quality or whatever. Because I've always been curious as to like how much of an upgrade, like this many stars is or whatever. So uh, you, because it's like a Sunday to a Tuesday stay and I bought it literally today just before I got here, um, I got a reasonably, uh, you know, like a decent thing on like a five-star hotel and like it's it's not the best like the best place but it's somewhere pretty close to the center again I'm not too far away from the the places I want to be and it's so fancy like this is too much fancy like I there's there's like I can't even make a, a take advantage of everything that like is going on here but it makes me feel a little bit special like oh isn't isn't that nice that if you just because I guess maybe because these places are you know they seem so expensive people don't even check on weird days like this but if you book at the last minute and you book on weird days you get hotels with like a desk why do you need a desk who's realistically doing that much work maybe it's like a work kettle or something um you get stuff like i mean i got an armchair too so i can wake up in bed lay in the armchair do some work and like then there's a bathroom over here there's even a kitchen like who has a kitchen <laughs> i don't get any of this like seriously it's got like hops it's got like a tap it's got like glasses and like presumably yeah there's even more cut cutlery if you want to eat in here and stuff um it's it's nice stuff is what i'm saying and that's just one oh you can see me over there, missing my microphone. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, uh, again, there's two things I just wanna get done today. The um, the Brandenburg, I always get its name, Brandenburg Gate, the famous one, and the Reichstag, which I, you have to make appointments for like a week in advance. So I have to go there at like a really specific time or they won't let me in. It's weird stuff. But yeah, in case you're curious, here's the view. Uh, the film house uh, <laughs> from the window of this place. Pretty nice stuff. Let's go actually do some things now. So this right here is the Brandenburg Gate, one of the most famous things in Germany and maybe Europe in general, like it's one of those big capital things. And uh, what exactly is it? It's, um, I mean, it was originally meant as like a gate to leave the town to go somewhere else. And then it became famous for it. It became famous for a bunch of different things. Even at one point, Napoleon stole that thing up there as like a symbol that he defeated the, uh, you know, the Germans at the time. And it's one of those uh, things where you're like, ah, so it's a symbol of unity. But I think the thing that's most interesting when something becomes this famous and it's this visited is the, I guess, the excitement around it, the number of people who come just to see the thing. And if you look around, this place is super, super lovely, but there are that many people surrounding that thing, even though right now, because there's some form of, like, concert or something going on out back there, like, you can't even get near the thing, but there's still this many people who just want to see the Brandenburg Gate, this famous symbol. And I've always found it fascinating how people crowd to certain places and need to see certain things, and uh, this is another example of that. Again, I, I think there's always something to be gained from the big tourist sites just to see what people are seeing in a way but also to see the uh, you know let's this is gonna be like to see the people seeing the thing that they're seeing uh, but no, that's basically what I mean and it's a pretty fascinating little area and it's a nice little bit again paced by East Met West one more time and a pretty fascinating little fact so yeah that is uh, the Brandenburg gate or the Brandenburg tour as it is in German and um, I guess now oh, oh, oh one one more thing that does make it fascinating is that it survived uh, World War II when most of Berlin got leveled, obviously. That somehow stood up still. So anyway, yeah, uh, it's been a fairly, not long today today, but I've had so many just like setbacks and like the hotel had the wrong date, so I'd like find one at the last minute. That's probably the last thing. So I'm gonna like go find some form of good food, gonna like relax the evening and then work out the video plan for tomorrow as well as like what else I'm gonna do uh, because I've got like that whole day in Berlin and then I'll leave on Tuesday. So, yeah, um, pretty. I, I know. I, I just love this little place. There's something about these big open areas in European places that I just really love. But yeah, I'm gonna go do my thing. See you tomorrow, I guess. So as it turned out, I was walking in the wrong direction for the particular, you know, part of the Berlin where I was going for. 
but I did go towards something else I was aiming towards, so it's basically the same thing as making it there anyway. So uh, yeah, this is some giant, I believe it's Berliner Dom or something like that, and that's some form of fancy old museum. But no, uh, the reason I'm here isn't, like, I feel like there's so many museums in the city that like, oh yeah, this is just the history museum, and it's like, I kind of know history, like, this is a science museum, they're probably not going to be the best in the world, but they do sometimes, uh, sometimes the city has something where it's like, this probably is the best place for that. And there's a museum of just stuff, like the daily life in the DDR, the East German Republic or whatever, and I wanted to go see that, because again, I'm, I feel like this is the closest, like, communist state to where I live, or where, I guess, any most people live in the West, and I think it'd be kind of fascinating to see, like, exactly how different things really were. Maybe it's amazing. I mean, probably not in a place like this, but, yeah, there's also this tower right here. Do you see this? This is, like, my guiding beacon around Berlin, and it's actually the tallest structure, uh, the second tallest structure in the European Union, the tallest, like, visitable one, and you can go up there, and you can get a big view of the place. So I'm going to go to the nearby, it's, like, behind that uh, big church, I believe, uh, go to the DDR Museum, go to that thing, and then I'll, yeah, I'll probably take, like, some video the top because it's got to be beautiful i imagine or maybe Berlin looks terrible at the top but no uh, because i'm like I, I i don't know if you know this but i'm like really good at like absorbing a map into my brain i figure seeing it from above should help me like get my way around better and then i'll just know where i'm going rather than hoping and <laughs> that's a good thing to do but yeah there's this beautiful little space and i was like oh that's a nice little thing again i like that in general so i'm gonna go to the tower and to the ddr i hear ddr and i just think dance dance revolution but the, i swear that's a country apparently uh, and i'm gonna go do that now and then i'll like get back to the ddr i was meant to be making this morning so the tower was super full, like there was a giant line just to go to the top of the thing that you paid to get the top off, and that seemed like a bit too much for me. So I looked on Google and as it turns out like this is like peak time. I love that Google Maps feature, like I felt like it's designed for people like me that just don't want to deal well with people there, but apparently later at night um, when I'll be going out again anyway for the Reichstag, because I booked that for the wrong day, um, but later at night I'll be going back there anyway and then I'll get a better view and I'll have it like to myself and stuff but yeah um, so instead I just kept walking to the Berlin Wall to make my video that I mentioned uh, I think it turned out pretty well I, I liked it uh, went a bit off at the end but my point being good video liked what was going on there uh, but uh, because it was like so far away I was like an hour and 20 away from that where I wanted to be over here so I had to buy one of those you know by foot anyway so I bought a public transport card and I, I failed my mission but I guess I did it valiantly it's better to fail than it is. To, I mean, it would arguably be failing if I walked for an hour and 20 minutes just to prove a point. So yeah, I, I've now walked back here and every time I see currywurst now, I'm just like, but it's one of these weird, it's not even that weird really, but it's just like sausage and like tomato sauce or something else. But it's like a, it's a, a German thing that's like fairly popular elsewhere, but it seems they love it even more in Berlin and you just see it all the time. So I've, I've got, I've eaten free currywurst so far and I probably should be a bit more like varied in my diet, but you know, I, I like it too much. I just, just too much. So I just keep, Every time I see one, I'm like, let's find the best curry whilst in Berlin. So that's a mission I'm going on. But yeah, this is another section of the Berlin Wall. Um, this is outside the, I think it's like the Museum of Nazi Terror. It's got a catchy name like that. And uh, I think I'll, I kind of want to check this thing out. Like, you know, give it a look at least. And uh, then I'll see what happens from there. Because again, that's that's the day. So pretty good st uh, stuff all day, today all day. It's been a pretty nice day as well. Uh, lovely day in Berlin, basically. With lots of curry whilst. Everyone's favorite. But you can even see. Uh, back there behind the globe, there's like a sausage floating somewhere up there. There you go. There's a currywurst floating there because there's a currywurst place there. So of course I had to go. Anyway, uh, let's go do the thing. So I've been walking around exploring just like, I guess, doing things as vague and weird as that is, you know, like I like to just explore a place, like absorb into my brain, see the stuff that comes along because that's the way it's like a best surprise. That's not the point, but I was doing that and I went I went through the Reichstag for my like weird appointment thing because you have to like go for security or whatever, um, you know, to go there and see the thing. It's a nice little building, beautiful stuff. And then I figured because I could see this giant tower from there, they're like, oh, it must be walking distance. When you can see things, they're walking distance. But as it turns out, when it's the second tallest structure in the EU, uh, that's not quite Quite true so I walked for maybe like two something miles it was a lot uh, it's probably a little bit less now but it was some like decent amount of time and I was like well I made a mistake here turns out if you can see something it doesn't mean you can walk to it and this is a life lesson for all of us but yeah this building right here um, it's the it's a something TV tower it was actually built in East Germany as it so turns out so it's the it's the second tallest structure in the EU like besides like, you know the only thing that's taller than it is like chimneys even in the world is like chimneys of like power plants so like you gotta you gotta admit like East Germany did some bad things but they make some pretty nice tall TV towers that's now been converted into a thing where you can go to the top and see it and like I said crazy packed earlier but according to Google's like you want to be antisocial and get some good views and stuff uh, now is a perfect time for it being pretty empty and because it's sunset I should get some nice views so I'll see you at the top if I do and if I don't then I guess I'll never see you again for the record then in the end I didn't go to the top of the tower because they wanted to not only charge some amount to go up there which was higher than all but it was like oh you have to wait an hour as well I guess because you know most of these tower things like you go to the top and then you're there and it just ends up being one of these things where it's like oh yeah 
Now, now, you, now you get to see the view or whatever. In this case, they wanted to make it seem even better by making you wait an hour. And it's like, no, you know what? You don't get to take my time and my money. To me, that's always like a, a big thing in my life. Like, you can have, to, you, you know, you can try and ask me to spend some time, try and ask me to spend some money, but like, ask me to spend both is a bit too much. So I didn't go to the thing in the end, uh, but now's the last day, just in case you're curious about this sort of thing. I don't know why I'm so principled with that sort of stuff every now and then, but it's like, it's empty now. This place is so empty, but they still want to wait the hour just to make it seem exclusive or whatever. Anyway, that, that said, um, so right now, I went uh, pretty, not that deep, but like a, a little deep into the, uh, I guess, the east side of, um, well, the former east side of the capital. And um, the reason I'm here is because it's the last day and I've got maybe like two hours left to get the train to the airport, uh, or some form of thing to the airport, is because there's a bunch of just weird stuff in, so whenever there's like a poorer part of town, such as the east side of a, you know, capital like this, um, there tends to be a lot of like wacky stuff there that develops because like artsy stuff can move in and do it for cheap. And one of these examples is, this is an old Jewish girls school, I think. Uh, again, in Germany, you can imagine how that goes. And it's been converted a bunch of times. And now it's like a weird American German Delhi, uh, Delhi, Delhi, American German Delhi, uh, Delhi that's like really, really well known. And that makes me go, what, wait? And that uh, makes me want to go inside there. So there's a bunch of weird stuff like that. I'm going to explore a little bit of that. It might last like an hour and a half or so. And then I guess we'll head to the airport and I can edit this together because I should be uploading this in like a few hours too. And just like that, with the magic of flying, I'm back in the UK. That was slightly less than 48 hours in Berlin. I enjoyed my time there a lot, actually, and I hope all of you enjoyed watching it, I guess. Um, because the thing about travelogging, the reason you haven't seen one, this is the first one I've ever uploaded, is because there's so many things to balance. Like, Because uh, whenever there's like vloggers who travel, or travel vloggers, I feel like they've always got this thing of like, I need to make my life look amazing. And maybe that's fine, but I've just never liked that. That doesn't have the authenticity or the honesty that at least I'd like to show off or something. Uh, we don't want to go too far the other way and like, you know, overshare, undershare. There's all these weird like sliders to balance that I'm just not sure what properly to do with but um so as well as uh, you know like that it's also like oh no and the, the skin thing was like the worst it's been ever like today so like most of the comments are just gonna be focused on that so it's like well that's gonna be great fun isn't it to read but yeah just all these things I hope you all enjoyed the vlog those who actually are watching it and just curious what I'm up to I really enjoyed seeing this even just watching editing it back like oh there's Tlick in Berlin next to these famous things so I think I might try another one when I go to somewhere next it's probably gonna be Tel Aviv in Israel but might be another European city, you never know. And uh, yeah, I, I look. For, I, I, I thought this was kind of interesting, but I'd like to hear your feedback on it. Like, was it good to see what you saw? There's some missing segments. I'm so upset I lost my mic, like the quality went way down. But I wanna hear what you think and maybe we can work from there. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um, like if you liked it, bell me, cause the spooky ghost are on the computer and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.